Hey everybody, this is Cappy Smack coming to you from the Cappy Smack Shack. And this is the Cappy Smack Morning Show. Brought to you by Cappy Smack. Makers of Cappy Smack. We're gonna wake up the apocalypse in the Division 2. I've been looking for something I can do in Elite Dangerous, and I think I might have found it. Been trying to rank up my uh, fighter pilot, fighter pilot buddy, and get some extra rank myself. And I might be able to do that by going to Thargoid conflict zones. And it's uh, a possibility. We'll have to see. might do that this weekend. It takes about 90 minutes per cycle for about 4% of something. Grindy, but not super grindy. So here we are. Back in the apocalypse. Entering safe area. Normal, normal, normal. Just to let you know what my build is. I'm gear score 498, but that's kind of irrelevant. I am hard hitting, destructive, bloodsucker, patient, ranger, protected reload, zen. And, uh, Liberty Deagle. You can see my stats. This is kind of the minimum of what you need to have fun in the game. Critical hit chance, uh, like it to be 20%, but 14 is okay. Critical hit damage, you need it to be like two times your hit chance. And then uh, I'm running uh, Demolitious at this point. I could do more damage if I were running uh, Survivalist. But, you know, for tuning the build, you don't want the extra AR damage. And I'm 91% damage to elites. I've been trying to add in extra... Uh, devastating for explosion damage and I'm not sure what the hell's going on with the controller right now because when I run demolitionist I want to be able to blow shit up am I right thanks for the business agent and I am number two, yapping at the heels of number one. <laughs> In my clan. In my clan, man. And lately I have been getting... Playing card kills by killing elites, named elites. And there's generally one that spawns right out the back here. And I happen to have a good enough build where I can kill these fine gentlemen. There's a guy. I generally just start the fight, they're gonna come to me. They have to come to me, they have no choice. And you can see with my build, I tear up. 
kill these veterans pretty quick. As long as they stay back, they play right into my build. And when they come up close, they're trying to play into their strengths. Honestly, as long as I stay in cover, my build is working for me. Having to get a crit on her. I didn't get a playing card, so... Must not have been. He was a named guy, but I don't know. Maybe I've got them all. Maybe I've done him before. Don't know. I'm not really specifically Major hunting for playing cards. Lately, I've just been going out and find a direction and run, pick up materials. Just doing activities. I've already uh, done all of the alert threes I can do for extra stuff. I could do alert fours. There's a, you know, you get one extra item. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, you might. I usually go for the low hanging fruit. If fruit is what I want. They're entering our the division's a joke. It is. It's a very funny joke, haha. -ha. See if I can get a headshot. I'm not the best sniper in the world. And this gentleman is running. Get the fuck out of DC! I mean, you don't have to get too crazy in the game to have fun. And the build I've got is going to be good enough for the raid. High damage. High survivability. Don't need gear sets for the raid. Gear sets are designed so that you got one person using them. If you got two people, not gonna help. Current gear sets are all support gear sets. They're not damage gear sets. And they're not even great support gear sets. They're not survivability gear sets. They're just team support. Put a flag over someone's head and not much it's marginally easier to kill him.
System curtailed. In the beginning, I could only kill those cyber doggies with uh, nades because they weak to explosions. Nice to be at max, hit chance. It would be nice to be at max, hit damage. Don't have to be. I like to blow shit up, so. I've been specking into uh, explosion damage. Explosion damage does more for Seeker Mines than uh, Skill Points. You might keep that in mind. Adding Skill Points is not going to make you Seeker Mines as effective as adding Explosion Damage. Now, after you've maxed out your explosion damage, then yeah, specking into skill points can be useful. And if you're looking for gear, you can find gear everywhere. If you're looking for a, a D50, how come the others don't have to do this? You can generally find D50s in immediate medical assistance needed. These gentlemen might have me. You gotta keep in mind that uh, armor and health is pretty irrelevant. Cover is what you need. When you're in cover, you're harder to kill. When you're out of cover, you're dead meat. When you're in cover, if you got the right setup, you can tank. I call it cover tanking. At any rate, the uh, Liberty Deagle takes a uh, high-end D50. High-end D50s drop less than 1% of the time. I opened up a shitload of weapon boxes before I ever got a high-end D50 and only got one. And I've only ever had one. I had a bunch of purple D50s that are not bad guns. Purple D50s drop ten times more often, five times more often. The Liberty Deagle Exotic is not game changing, it's not super uber, it can be useful in certain situations. Talents don't proc all the time. Honestly, if you've got a gun that gives you better talents, I'd say use it. The 
exotics are not uh, going to give you super uber damage unless you happen to have the nemesis. I'm still working on that. I have to wait for the right uh, strongholds to unlock for invasion. And then I can kill the right dudes and then I will have it. Because I've got all the pieces and parts. Except for two. The two that unlock with the two strongholds that have not been invaded the last two weeks. Still grinding for the Merciless. I've been killing the boss on challenging as much as I can stand before my uh, ears start to bleed. Because it's not a difficult fight, and, you know. In my setup, it's relatively easy. Die once in a while. Not all the time. I can run it in like 20 minutes. Just looking to see what dropped. A lot of stuff I can't use. Because, you know, skill mods are broken. A lot of ways they could keep skills relevant. Most of them they chose not to do for whatever reason. I've already been here. It's always good to pick a direction and go. Almost doesn't matter what direction you go. And the good news for me is, not only is it hump day, and I'm solving problems at work and they love me, and I'm making their servers more reliable and gonna make it possible for them to make more money and hopefully I'll be earning my bonus because that was part of the deal but it's payday in a week and a half once again and I ordered my replacement Xbox One X. My original one I've had for less than a year. Actually, I had it 
it uh, just about uh, maybe a year before it decided to have problems. And then it had some kind of a hard drive problem, because games were messing up, and then I couldn't load games anymore, and then I did a factory reset. Thought that might solve the problem, but it did not. So now I think I need to send it out for repair, but I want one. So I have ordered a replacement. Brand new Xbox One X. One terabyte. And then I'm going to send out the one that uh, needs to be repaired and get it fixed. We've got hyenas unloading on civilians outside the medical camp. Get over there and give them support, Agent. I need to shoot. From the other side of something. A little pro tip, if you get, find a door you can't get through, look for a lock you can shoot from the other side of something. Ninety percent of the time, that's going to be the solution. Game devs are a little bit twisted. And yeah, if you're looking to collect all of the uh, shade techs. Backup request. You're gonna have to do that at least four or five times. I disagree. You might be right about that, sir. Serious trauma detected. Run with uh, stop, drop, and roll, but there are times when I don't do that, and this is Take one that. of those. The fallen. The what? Sorry, were you saying something?
But this is why I like to blow shit up. I'm gonna drop your motherfucker! For the times when I can find groups of people and blow them all up. Survivalists can't do that. And the extra AR damage, it's nice to have. It's nice to have 30%. It's not crucial. I would rather tune my build for uh, demolitionist, and then if I need the extra AR damage, uh, change up. Explosion damage is always good, it's never bad. It will help your nades if you use an explosive nades. At any rate, now in Elite Dangerous they have uh, AX conflict zones that they didn't have the last time around when I played. And so I think I might need to check out some AX conflict zones and uh, kill me some Thargoids, get some combat rank, which, if you get, you know, Trade Elite is the easiest one to get. I went trade elite a long time ago. You don't need to be triple elite. If you're a completionist, go for it. Civilians in distress. Don't get any extra bennies. Single elite's fine. You get Shinrata Desra. Can be useful. Oh, oh yeah. I'm gonna enjoy no this. one's gonna get away. they can do to me. Every time I reload, I get armor back. Stay in cover, I heal. They're just wailing away at me. Even that guy coming up on me. Not much he can do. Now I would like to blow this guy up. Should have stayed away. Detected.
And there's nothing like taking out a group of uh, enemies with a single blast. Of your nade launcher. Survivalists cannot do that. All you can do is take out individuals. So, you know. Play the way you want. I've maxed out all three of my specializations. I can be all I can be. I can be a sniper with super fast reload. Again, it's going to help with damage on individuals. Or I can blow shit up. And every so often be immune to explosions. Civilians in danger. So, I'm not sure, well, shit, I have to go way over here, or way over here, that's going to be a four, if I go way over here, I can get it up to a three. be some kind of weird alien effect going on. I'm just going to go through glass. Anytime you can be up on top of something, you're going to have an advantage. stick around on the ground. If you can make them come up to you, you got an advantage.
If you can make them bleed, you got an advantage. Stay behind cover, you got an advantage. Control the battle, you have an advantage. Play into the strengths of your build, you've got an advantage. And that car is not going to be able to come up here. Not a factor. someone over here. Thought I got them all. I can see him coming my way. I don't really care, darling. If you were a factor, I'd blow you up. But I am immune to some explosions, so I'm not concerned. car down there. She is starting to annoy me. So yeah, I like to blow shit up. Alright, did that go to a three? It did. I don't have all the 12 masks, don't care, don't really need them. Don't really want them, they don't do anything. Can't wear a hat. I like hats. We've got the two high end masks. Can wear a hat. Again, they don't do anything. What's the difference between wearing underwear or not? Underwear really don't do anything. 
civilians in distress. You know, if I attack from the other direction, I can at least send up a flare. get my mates coming in. There is an underground uh where the hell So uh, there is an underground entrance There's a front door and a back door. This is it. And that one means I can't call in reinforcements, so that's unacceptable. I don't have enough time for this. Civilians in danger. Well, that's where the ghost spawns, but. Uh, time for him either. The trick on spawning the ghost is use a sniper rifle with scope I think it is the only way they will count the hits. They get really particular And then you want to hit the upper pane. I don't think the lower panes register. But again, the masks don't do anything. Sorry, baby. I had to blow you up. Your choice is where to blow me or I'll blow you up. Kill the 
Let's get into this. Additional hostile contacts. Of course you are. Would it be any fun otherwise? That's the question. Hostage health is critical. Hostage is dead. It's too bad. Well, you know, killing the hostage is a solid strat. The hostage was stupid. All right, so hostage was out in the open, so the hostage had to die because she was stupid. Uh, I'm not into doing stupid shit to try to save hostages if they're going to be out in the open they're going to have to die and they're NPCs and like you know, I don't really care about NPCs
fuckingly dangerous. Should we kill Thargoids or not? Well, you know, Thargoids are in the game and you can kill them, so... It might be unethical not to kill them. Hostile control point identified. It's like, should I should I kill dogs in this game? Well, you can kill them. It might be unethical not to kill them. That's really cool. Machine gun morning. And I got about three minutes. Then I have to go to work. Alright, see if I got anything useful. Does not appear to be. So, I'm looking for... The magic Agents mask for me backup. would be... Damage to elites. 
and uh, devastating and I'm not going to get any higher than 53% damage to elites honestly I did find a triple health mask uh, double with crit hit chance can also be very good so I'm going to keep that for something 35% and devastating would also be a good combination I might trade a little damage to elites for extra devastating. I wouldn't mind trading 15% damage to elites for 20% explosion if I can get it. So right there I could take that channel light and smush it onto that badger stuff. Where is it? Smush it on to that uh, Douglas and Harding. I might just have a better combo. We're not safe. Take that guy with 35% damage to elites. And drop some destructive on it. Take a look at my ability build. And then swap this guy out for my Douglas and Harding. which I just made right here. Let's just check and see. So I've got 20, 40, 40% destructive. ninety one percent damage to elites. Swap that out for that guy, which is now 20, 40, 60 percent destructive. And uh, 73 percent damage to elites. So anything over 50 percent damage to elites is good. If you're looking for good. Anything with triple health is good. If you're looking for good. I might even keep that Fenris later. Weapons damage can also be good. Cap, not so good. Weapons damage is. I might keep that for later. Let's see if I can tune my build. The only knee pads I keep are uh, 
patience. So we're going to see which of these builds works better. About the only way you can tell what your cluster mines are going to do is you have to take a look at the damage. 179k is not bad for cluster mines. But when you get over to uh, regular seeker mine, it's 335k. Not bad. Prices, not bad, guys. 40% explosion damage. That's what you want. 60%. Also good. So I'm going to keep that for later. Um, not sure if that's going to be good or not later. Uh, I'm going to keep that for later. Bloodsucker is very good. Pretty much always keep my bloodsuckers. Berserk? Also good. And my stash is full. Alright, awesome. Alright, well that is the Capus Mac morning show. I tuned up my build, had some fun. Killed some bad mans. And bad womans. And uh, be sure to catch me. On Twitch, you can see the address on the screen. And catch me next time on the Capus Mac Morning Show. Brought to you by Capus Mac. Makers of Capus Mac. You'll be happy once you got your Cap Capus Mac.